Hi LEGO fans! Today we're heading to Slytherin Dungeon for a double dose of potions class with everybody's favourite professor, obviously. This is number two in a series of four videos covering the Hogwarts moment sets which recreate iconic moments from the first two Harry Potter movies. Last time we learned about Transfiguration with Head of Gryffindor House Professor Minerva McGonagall. And today I'm going to be unboxing, speed building and reviewing set number 76383 Hogwarts Moment Potions Class from LEGO Harry Potter. Like the other Hogwarts Moment sets, Potions Class creates a classroom scene that folds away neatly into a book loosely themed on the house colours of the professor teaching the lesson. The 271 piece part count includes three exclusive minifigures. We've got a HP 266 Professor Severus Snape, HP 267 Draco Malfoy, and a HP 268 Seamus Finnegan with a long overdue alternate facial expression. I'm not certain, but I think this recreates the very first potions class that the young students took in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. We'll certainly try and verify that during the course of this video. Over on the back of the box we get a closer look at Snape's potions class and some gentle encouragement from LEGO to collect them all. For now, I think it's time to cut to the chase and see what we get inside the box. Here's everything you get inside the box. We've got two numbered bags of LEGO, an 82 page instruction booklet, a 2x16 plate, a front and back cover, kinda sorta in Slytherin colours, and of course the dreaded sticker sheet. I'm gonna go ahead and build the 76383 Hogwarts Moment Potions class, and today this is going to be a 60 second speed build! And here is the completed 76383 Hogwarts Moment Potions class in all its 271 piece glory. Build time today was 29 minutes and apart from the stickering a very satisfying little build. Like the other moment sets we have a fine selection of three exclusive minifigures but we're going to come back to those later in the video. Apart from the spell book and the potions flask everything else you need to recreate the scene is hidden away inside this book. The outside is very decorative, but if you've seen one, you've seen them all. On the front in metallic gold print, we have the Hogwarts crest with all of the house animals. We also have the Hogwarts motto, Draco Dormians Nuncum Titillandus. That's Latin for never tickle a sleeping dragon. The other symbology is potions related. We've got a bubbling potions bottle, some fun guy, and a crystal. Towards the bottom of the book we have more potions paraphernalia including a couple of flasks and a cauldron for boiling up weird and wonderful concoctions. Unlike Draco Malfoy the book has a spine but it isn't highly decorated. The only real decoration comes courtesy of this sticker depicting a cauldron. The back of the book is unprinted and has just a small amount of decoration around the corners. I believe the anti studs on the back will be useful for joining all four books together. Viewing the book from the other side you can see there are no pages and it makes it clear that there's more to this set than meets the eye. So after a little titivation this is Professor Snape's potions class set up as Lego suggested on the box. We'll come back to the minifigures and the accessories in just a moment but for now let's check out the inside of the book. There's a whole bunch of detail inside but also a lot of stickering. We have a really nice decorative arch which is hinged, 
and the fabulous array of potions and potion making ingredients. I really like all of the different coloured jars and Snape's extensive collection of exotic ingredients. There's another sticker in the corner with more ingredients and an archway I've definitely seen in the movie. Carved into the arch we have the words Potassa Carbonate. That's Latin for potassium carbonate, sometimes referred to as pearl ash or even salt of wormwood. On the inside of the back of the book we get some real Lego. It's also accompanied by one of the awkward stickers you have to put on the inside of a panel. Here we can see a drain pipe and a portrait of a wizard. Below that we have storage for even more potions paraphernalia. There are bottle elements complete with gold caps, flasks of fearsome looking fluids, what looks like a saucepan and a mug. I'm not sure if Snape is brewing potions or making a cup of tea. Other accessories include a spoon and a knife which is perfect for crushing sopophorus beans. Finally we have a really nice flask containing some unidentified purple potion. On the inside of the spine we have some really nice Slytherin themed decoration. It utilises some really nice snake elements which have been borrowed from Ninjago. The back of the fold out wall isn't designed to be decorative. Even so I love the scroll detail on the back of these arches. We even have a little secret hidden away in the corner. I'm not sure it was ever hidden in Snape's classroom but this does look like the Philosopher's Stone as created by famed alchemist and very old guy Nicholas Flamel. Hidden away on the inside of the front cover, oh joy more stickers! The top one features another wizarding portrait and a Slytherin house banner. Down at the bottom things are a little bit more forgotten. We've got a flask with a baby basilisk preserved in formaldehyde, a bookshelf with a copy of magical drafts and potions, something very creepy peering out from a mouse hole and some graffiti from the famous Tom Riddle. It's a really detailed scene with some nice architectural touches but that is not all. Oh no that is not all. We also get a bunch of furniture to complete the scene. There's an overstuffed armchair for Snape to enjoy a nice cup of tea. It has some really nice rounded elements and stashes away neatly inside the book. We also have a neat little storage unit. It comes with some mysterious green stuff inside a glass dome and a cauldron perfect for brewing the draft of living death. Of course it wouldn't be complete without a badly applied sticker. It looks like Snape has a flask of acromantula venom in his collection. Like the armchair this fits neatly inside the book. Next we have an adjustable blackboard on which Snape has posed a question. What would you get if you combined powdered root of asphodel with an infusion of wormwood? If you know the answer let me know in the comments. This time the blackboard doesn't snap into place but it does slot neatly into this gap. The final piece of furniture is Snape's desk. On top of this we find a couple of accessories which don't fit inside the book. There's a really nice decorative flask made out of a trans orange cone and a trans pink gem element and another one of these magical textbooks. This time we have a 1x2 tile showing the recipe to some kind of potion. Like all of the moment sets this tile is an exclusive. Snape's desk attaches neatly at the top of the book and holds all of the other accessories in place. As well as the book and all of the Lego goodness within we do of course get three minifigures. A HP 266 Professor Severus Snape, HP 267 Draco Malfoy and HP 268 Seamus Finnegan. This is the 8th Severus Snape minifigure and very similar to the HP 134 version. That came with 75953 Hogwarts Whomping Willow and 75956 Quidditch Match. Snape comes complete with a black wand and an expression that could curdle milk. I love the quizzical expression with the left eyebrow raised. But if you think that expression can inspire terror in first years, the alternate expression would send any student running for Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. That snarling face is terrifying. Snape's costume includes some standard black minifigure legs which is a bit of a shame as we got nice printed versions last time. Somewhat making up for that is a brand new and exclusive torso print. Here the top coat is open on both sides and we can see more of the purple jerkin underneath. Nothing exciting around the back just some purple highlights for the creases. From creasy to greasy we have the perfect haircut for Snape. It's long and it's black and it's shiny. While it may be perfect for Snivellus, just like the facial expression it has been used before. It's always nice to get a revised version of a classic minifigure. In this case the modifications are very slight and don't really add a lot over the previous versions. If anything we've taken a step back by not printing the legs. One thing LEGO has done very well with these 2021 moment sets is marrying up the character to how they looked in the movie. Next we have the HP 267 Draco Malfoy which is the 15th LEGO Draco Malfoy minifigure. Draco has a dark brown wand which I'm sure was acquired at Ollivander's in Diagon Alley. 
Although he looks similar to previous Draco Malfoy minifigures, he is in fact an exclusive. It all comes down to the torso print, which is brand new for 2021. As you can see, Draco's wearing a white shirt, Slytherin tie, and Slytherin school jumper. Around the back we find some creases and a continuation of the silver and green detail. Both Draco and Seamus have the very short child's legs. This is a good indication that Potions class is based either on the Philosopher's Stone or the Chamber of Secrets. If the facial expression and the hair look familiar, you'd be absolutely right. These have been recycled from previous versions of Draco. The primary facial expression shows a very smug looking Malfoy. He's well known for having a short fuse and the alternate expression is absolutely fantastic. Also well suited to the character is the almost impossibly blonde hair. As we've come to expect with the more recent Harry Potter minifigures, Lego has been really sweating the detail. As a result, the resemblance of the minifigure to the character in the movie is very close. Finally, we have the explosive personality that is the Irish half-blood wizard, Seamus Finnegan. This is the HP 268 version and only the second time we've had a Seamus Finnegan minifigure. He looks very similar to the HP 141 version we got with the 75953 Hogwarts Whomping Willow set. For some reason, LEGO decided to omit the freckles from this version. As you'd expect, Seamus comes with a wand which is the source of many explosive disasters. This time it's a dark tan version and it's nice to get three different colours in the same set. Most of the elements you see here are not exclusives. He's got the same very small black child's legs we saw on Draco. And while the Gryffindor torso is new, it was also worn by Hermione and Ron in the previous Transfiguration set. Like Malfoy, we do have some printing on the back which shows a couple of creases and a continuation of the house colours. The hair is a commonly used element we see on many minifigures, but it does suit Seamus really well. The same can be said for the facial expression which has a decent resemblance to Seamus, although I do miss those freckles. What really makes this character special is the alternate expression which shows a bemused Seamus after blowing himself up. Now this is where Potions class gets a bit tricky because I don't remember Seamus doing this in the first two movies. I'm sure if I'm wrong you will let me know in the comments. I think the moment being recreated by this set comes from the first movie. That would explain the question on the blackboard asking what would happen if you combined Powdered Root of Asphodel with an infusion of Wormwood. Seamus actually blows himself up in the scene immediately following Potions class. Oil of Rabbit, Harperington, turn this water into rum. Kaboom! Again, the designers did a really good job bringing the character of Seamus to life as a minifigure. This is absolutely stunning and by far my favourite minifigure from the set. The minifigure selection is absolutely fine, but assuming this was based on the first potions class, you probably would have expected to have seen Harry and Hermione. I'll definitely take Seamus as a good alternative. So that was set number 76383, Hogwarts Moment Potions Class from LEGO Harry Potter. Although the minifigure selection wasn't quite as good as Transfiguration Class, I actually much preferred the interior of this set. I'm not a big fan of stickers, but they did add quite a lot of detail that would have been difficult to have done in LEGO Elements. I especially enjoyed the reference on the blackboard and the hidden details such as the Philosopher's Stone. On top of that we had some cool elements like the knife and spoon, the Ninjago snakes, potions flask, cauldron and the bottle elements. It didn't quite hit the brief of creating a moment from one of the movies, but as a recreation of Snape's classroom I think they did a pretty good job. Our next moment will be 76384 Herbology class and we'll be meeting Professor Sprout and the Mandrakes. If you enjoyed today's lesson, a thumbs up is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more LEGO Harry Potter goodness. Thanks a million for checking out today's review, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next build video.